In this video, the first thing that we will talk about is figuring out which university to go to based on a bunch of its merits and demerits. So here it goes. Hey everyone, my name is Suraj, one of the co-founders here at Gradvine and an alumnus of Carnegie Mellon. Over the last several years, we've had the pleasure of helping thousands of students get into their dream universities. While helping them out with their processes, we've identified six key steps that every single student needs to take right after they have finished applying to universities. In this six part series of the next few videos, I'm going to break down every single step that is required for you to be able to safely and successfully fly out to your dream university. If you're watching us for the first time, stay tuned for the six part series. All right, let's get into it. For the first part of the video, I'm going to be concentrating on folks that have already applied and have a few admission decisions in your hand. That's part one of the six part series. People that have already applied to universities can start to expect a bunch of decisions, either admits, rejects or waitlists around this period of time. And congratulations to everyone that has already gotten an admit. At Gradvine, out of the thousands of students, it looks like a majority of them have already started to receive at least one admit. And so in this video, the first thing that we will talk about is figuring out which university to go to based on a bunch of its merits and demerits. So here it goes. Depending on the number of admits that you've gotten and depending on the universities and the courses that you've gotten, these are the list of three or four criteria that you should keep in mind before making the decision of figuring out the best fit for you. The first criteria to keep in mind when you're identifying the best possible university for you is going to be the location. Let nobody tell you that location is not important and that you could go to any university literally in the middle of nowhere. Location is of the primary importance when it comes to picking a university. Make sure that if you are going to the US, make sure to go to the West Coast, the East Coast, Chicago area or Texas. Those are the primary areas in the US. Those are where most of the job opportunities are located. So the first criteria is location. Second criteria in a list of criteria to figure out which university to go to has to be the brand value or the reputation of that university, but specifically for the program that you are trying to get to. MIT could be great for engineering, but MIT is not probably not the best school for you to go to if you are looking at liberal arts education. Similarly, Berkeley could be great for engineering, could be great for business school as well, but Berkeley might not be the best school to go to if you're looking to go to school for culinary arts. Therefore, identify the best possible schools for the degree that you are pursuing out of all of the admits that you have gotten. That's criteria number two. Criteria number three in a long list of criteria to pick the best possible university has to be the alumni network and the value that you get out of it. Alumni is very, very important for a university. These alumni are also very important for incoming graduate students because you can rely on the alumni to give you a fair sense of what sort of job opportunities exist, how to apply for these jobs, and maybe even get a referral from them to get an interview at one of the companies that you are looking to work for. So criteria number three for you to, to identify this, the correct university for you to go to is the alumni network. Last and probably in no particular order, but one of the biggest things that you should think about is the return on investment. Just like location, the reputation of the university for that particular degree and the alumni network is important. One of the most criteria is actually the return on investment. The tuition fee that you're putting in, the living costs that you're putting in, how much of that can you recoup by, by getting a job right after you graduate? That's going to be the fourth criteria in the list of criteria for you to look at before finalizing the university. Once you go through these four criteria for every single admit that you have, make a pro con list of identifying these factors, maybe rate it on a scale of five or a scale of 10. And then towards the end of it, try and bring in some cultural factors into the mix as well. Do I have family staying close to the university? 
Do I already have a support system around the university that I can tap into? Are there seniors of mine that have gone to that, gone to that particular university that I can rely on? Are there part-time jobs in the university? All of these are important but peripheral sort of criteria to keep in mind. But the four important ones remain first, the location of the university, second, the brand value and the reputation for the particular major or degree that you're looking to go to. Third is the alumni network and fourth, and probably one of the most important criteria is the return on investment. Of course, there are other criteria that I cannot cover in this particular interview. So if you already have admits in hand, and are looking to evaluate which one to go to, definitely make sure to schedule your free consultation call on our website, gradvan.com. And again, just as a reminder, this is video number one in a set of six videos outlining what you should be doing right after you have a couple of admits in your hand. Stay tuned for the rest of them. Till then, make sure to like, share and subscribe. See you.